Uh, if so, how do, you, how do you do that? Well, I'll say that uh, I'll answer that question, but I have to say that when they, they're saying that there's no deficit next year, I'm waiting for Ricardo Montalban to come in the door and welcome us to Fantasy Island. <laughs> I think you've been a little bit easy on them because it's really going to be about $900 million and we're not talking about the $175 million in teacher pensions from the state. And so uh, I do agree that we, uh, really when we're talking about growing the tax base, we're talking about jobs. And the issue about attracting large employers to the county, I was in Aspen Hill Monday night where Nancy Florine said, we don't need the Lockheed headquarters. Well, I'm sure the CEO of Lockheed and all the employees are delighted to hear that, but the fact is we do need Lockheed, we needed Northrop, we needed Volkswagen, but they all went to Northern Virginia. So I proposed a specific plan to draw more of these aerospace jobs because I think it's in contrast to what they proposed, which was to appoint a Blue Ribbon Commission, place taxes on business to raise money for it, and the fact is, is that we need to address the tax and regulation issues and get our transportation system fixed so that we can attract companies here. Uh, Becky Wagner, how do we have, I mean, do you agree that we need